Geraldton may have been built on a foundation of gold, but more than 30 years of gold mining also left Geraldton with a daunting legacy. 14 million tons of ground rock and debris covering 190 acres to a depth of 27 feet. For the last three decades, this landscape has stood grim watch over the entrance to the town. When Barrick Gold Corporation acquired the McLeod property long after the mine had closed down, it committed itself to restoring the property aesthetically and to neutralizing the potential long-term environmental impact of the tailings. To get the job done, Barrick called on the talents of Martha Schwartz, a world-renowned landscape architect and Harvard professor who had worked with Barrick before in New Mexico. Drawing on the New Mexico experience, Schwartz turned the Geraldton project into a field workshop for her graduate school class. Martha saw great potential in the barren mountains of the McLeod site. She proposed a complete makeover, a dramatic and colorful entrance to the town. Martha's concept was so convincing that Barrick agreed to spend the extra money to fulfill her vision of terraced gardens and golden scrolls. The plan also received overwhelming local support. The town of Geraldton, recognizing the opportunity, formed a partnership with Barrick and the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund Corporation to make the restoration project the centerpiece of a larger economic development initiative. That partnership resulted in additional funding that was used, among other things, to construct this interpretive center and revitalize the McLeod No. 1 head frame. The restoration process was an exercise in technical precision. The shapes and patterns of the earthworks were calculated based on the turning and pushing capabilities of the earth-moving equipment. The primary objective was to use the materials that were available. Standing water was considered as a design element, but maintaining the natural water table was given priority. The design plan also had to incorporate proper storm drainage. The earthwork also had to respect traffic safety, leaving adequate sight lines around the highway intersection. Once the tailings were in place, a more inviting habitat for plant life was created by adding a five-inch layer of peat topsoil. In keeping with Martha Schwartz's plan, the replanting effort was focused on native grasses, particularly grasses with a golden hue. Finally, the decision was made to expand the neighboring nine-hole golf course by adding a back nine that would cross over into the newly recovered land. The original nine-hole course opened in 1937 and was designed by Stanley Thompson, one of the era's leading course designers. The new addition is the design of Les Ferber, a student of Robert Trent Jones Sr. and one of today's top golf course designers. Using the outer perimeter of the tailings for elevation, the course will offer stunning panoramic views of the splendor of a northern lake. By the 17th hole, players will be back in marshland, just one hole from refreshments back at the clubhouse. Imagine, 18 first-rate holes of golf in the clean air and natural beauty of northern Ontario, with a pedigree that will attract knowledgeable golfers from around the world.